Okay, so the second book I chose was Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hanks. Um, I feel like everybody's had this book read to them or they've read it at some point in their life, and I really, really like this book. I've actually had it read to me as a kindergartner, and I had it read to me last year as a junior in college. This book really just kind of encompasses everything about individuality and how we feel and how others can influence our feelings about ourselves. So the book is about Chrysanthemum. She's named after a flower. She loves her name. She's very excited. The book often says, she loves the way her name sounded chrysanthemum 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 and then chrysanthemum goes to school and the other kids actually make fun of chrysanthemum victoria is the one who kind of eggs everyone on and tells them you know oh her name is 13 letters long her name wouldn't fit on a name tag she's named after a flower and chrysanthemum the use of language in this book is really cool because the author says every time that chrysanthemum got made fun of for her name she wilted so i think that's cool because everything relates back to a flower and how a flower grows a flower wilts all of that is really really cool and chrysanthemum it actually meets uh, miss twinkle the music teacher and she really relates to chrysanthemum because her name is actually a flower and it's 13 letters long as well and when she tells all of the students that all of the students ask if they can be called flower names and they think it's really cool and chrysanthemum blossoms from that moment and realizes that it's okay to be different she can have a name but it's still her and she should still love it regardless of what other people say uh, my favorite quote from this book sorry i'm going to read it off the screen my favorite quote from this book is chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears she blushed she beamed she bloomed chrysanthemum 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 like I said, that's one of my favorite quotes because of the use of language and relating it back to a flower. It really gives imagery and it allows students to think about how they can use language to have a voice in a text or even set the mood. Um, I chose to read this book because, like I said, I loved it when I was younger. I absolutely, I would read this every day to my mom. I would come home and, of course, I couldn't say chrysanthemum, but I would try my best. But this book really is just, it's so good to show students that, it's okay to be different and especially going into a classroom where I know I'm going to have a lot of diversity. Bringing in a book maybe about names can relate to more students better and this book also really brings apart, um, it brings up windows, mirrors, and doors because you know a student with the name Anna doesn't really get made fun of for her name because she feels like it's different or she feels like it's normal and I have a perfect example of that. My sister's name is Kyle actually and so a lot of people kind of are like oh your sister you don't mean a brother or her name's Kyle not Kylie and so I she loved this book when she was growing up because there was never she never met another girl named Kyle and she used to get made fun of in school for her name but after reading this book she really became comfortable with her name and now like I it her name fits her perfectly um I also believe that this book shows students that individuality can be expressed in so many different ways so it's not just about how you look how you sound how you act it, it can be your name it can be something as simple as that and your name really defines you even if you don't think it does and that's something that a lot of students don't know um, I would recommend this book to student or teachers or parents, you know, the teachers to have it in their class. Like I said, I got, I had this book read to me in kindergarten and I also had it read to me in my junior year of college. So I really don't think there's an age range on when you should have this book in your classroom. I think it's always a good constant reminder because as you grow up and you go into it and delve into language and the writing style and all of that that fits in books, it's a really good book to use that because even the font grows. So it says like she grew and grew and grew every time grew is said it gets bigger like the font size increases um and all like it's just a really good book to set the tone for your classroom and have students again understand you know this is something that I'm okay with in my classroom and this is not something I'm okay with we do not make fun of other people we make people feel welcome we include them in our classroom environment I would give this book a five out of five it uses imagery it uses language it's just so rich in context that I feel like a lot of students love it and another really good thing about it is it has pictures to go along with it so you are really able to see chrysanthemum's feelings expressed on her face or the feelings of victoria the feelings of miss twinkle and i also think it's really cool that the characters are mice i think that brings a whole new context to it because students are used to seeing especially younger students are used to seeing really characters only being humans only looking a certain way and this book kind of takes away that stereotype they can make on these people a discussion prompt, I think, for this book would be, how did you get your name and do you know what it means? I often got asked that a lot when I was younger, and I think it opens up a really cool 
chance for the students not only to talk about their name, but also research and brings in that technology aspect. Um, another question I think would be, if you could change your name, what would it be and why? Because I always used to want to change my name when I was younger. I thought like having the name Lindsay would be super cool, but allowing students to explore that and maybe in turn understanding that they are who they are and their name fits them perfectly, they don't need to change it, is a really good thing to do. Um, this book will be in my future classroom regardless of what grade I teach because like I said I think it is such an amazing book to talk about individuality and it expresses it in a different way than how you look, how you talk, how you act, how you feel, what you're interested in. It's all about your name, it's all about who you are, and it's a really simple way to introduce this topic to students. Uh, the book also has really great literary cr characteristics like I talked about before so 100% I will be using this in my future classroom and I think you should as well.